What is up, Tasty People? It's your boy, Tasty Penguin here, and today we are back with a little bit of juicy information regarding the game, The Cycle. Now, there is a lot of people out there that already know this game, but to my surprise, there are many, many people that have never even heard of this game. Now, before we get into a little bit of the, uh, you know, like I said, juicy information for those of you that already have been playing this game or alpha testing or anything like that, I am going to let you guys know exactly what this game is for all the newcomers out there that have never heard of it. As far as what this game is, The Cycle is a competitive match-based first-person quester from the makers of Spec Ops The Line. Now, that is a game that, to me, I have no idea what it is, but I will be looking up later. But on Fortuna 3, you compete against other prospectors or collaborate with them to claim as much resources as possible and escape before the planet crushes the life out of you. Now that sounds pretty epic, doesn't it? Now what does that exactly mean as far as a battle royale goes? Well, let me just say, I'm not going to compare this to any other game really. The only thing that the, that the, like the monsters in the game that you know it kind of reminds me of is defiance but it is nowhere near what defiance is if you guys have ever played that game defiance was a great game it flopped whatever done with that subject but what the cycle really is it is a battle royale but it's a pvevp battle royale is what it means now what happens in this game is you were sent down to a planet to collect resources now you can play this game in solos and squads currently now, when you drop down to the planet, even if you're in solos, you can find a person and either kill them or team up with them. And if you team up with them, you don't exactly have to stay with them the whole time. You can betray them at any point you want to. But your main goal is to gather as much resources as you possibly can throughout the world in any type of area that you want to. There are different biomes to go to. Get all those resources gathered up and make it off the planet before it is destroyed, before the storm takes over. And the storm is basically, yes, you take damage over time when it reaches you, but it summons more and more progressively stronger monsters as the storm increases. And it gets even more powerful as it goes on, which is amazing. Now, with that being said, what you do with the resources that you get while you're in the world and stuff, what you're doing actually is you're taking those resources back to your base which is the hud in the game before you start a match you're crafting the weapons that you want while you're on the world now like other battle royales you'd spawn into a world you rush around trying to find the weapon of your choice you know get the attachments that you want and everything and hope that you find what you want but in this game you make your loadout before you even launch the game you craft your weapons up you get the attachments that you want onto them and while you're in the game you gain a currency which is money and you buy the weapons you summon them down as drops you grab those weapons you're ready to go now you always know what you're going to have which is a great thing you also summon your healables you summon your grenades you summon everything in this game now that's a basic rundown of what this game is now let's get into the juicy bits for those of you that know exactly what this game is and are hyped to see some of the stuff that I've actually shown, which is, you know, the new map and stuff like that, but we're going to show a little bit of other stuff first. Now, if you guys want to see the actual dev post or the dev video on YouTube, I'll link it down below, but I'm going to get to this. Okay, so I'm not going to go over too many of the little minor fixes, which are great minor fixes, if I may add. If you guys want to check those out, check the link down below for the, you know, the, the actual dev vlog. But the main things is what I'm going to go over right now. They extended the alpha test. Now, normally the alpha test would start on a Friday, depending on where you are in the time zone and all that stuff. And it would end on a Saturday. It was usually, you know, below 24 hours or something like that. But that's how long it would last. Now they're going to extend the alpha starting on Friday and ending on Monday, depending on your time zone. It's going to be a full weekend alpha test. So that is a wonderful thing for those of you that have been wanting to play the game but you're working on that friday and you barely get to play by the time you get home and you want to play with your friends on the weekend or something like that it is completely awesome because now you're going to be able to do it for the full weekend no worries 
Now, one of the main uh, minor fixes that I'm going to show on this, the only one that I'm going to show is on the screen right now, they have a new HUD. If you look at the bottom of the screen, the health bars and stuff like that is actually more polished now. It looks a lot better, and he is actually proud of that, he stated in his uh, post. And it actually looks really good. Before, it was a little bit more difficult to, you know, completely understand what your life was. I mean, you could see it, but it was kind of unoptimized. Now it looks really great. It looks flushed. And I know there's going to be changes in the future, but for now, this looks awesome. Now, one of the main things that I personally got asked from the people that have actually watched my videos is if this game is coming on console. That's the number one question for almost any game that is out there because a lot of people still play on console only. Now, the thing that he said is yes, the game will definitely be on console, but he wants to make sure that the game is polished on PC first. They want to get it all flushed and ready to go and that he hopes it will not be too many months away before it is released on console. They're going to get everything ready, flushed, and ready to go, and then yes, it will definitely come to consoles. Now, a number one of my pet peeves in this game was the fact that you could spawn in as a solo and other people could team up against you. Now, my personal preference for a Battle Royale game is to go in solo only, go against everybody. But when you spawn in at solo and you're still going against duos and stuff like that, it kind of got a little bit hectic, I guess you could say. But now they're going to be releasing something else. They used to have uh, solos and then they used to have squads. But now, now they're going to release duos. He said it's absolutely coming to the game soon. He doesn't have an exact date, but there will be duos in the game. So if you have one friend that you want to play with and you want to play with other randoms, they're going to have it in the game, so don't worry. Now, as for the thing that you guys have been waiting for, the new map, I'm going to show a little bit of a clip right here of what he was saying about the new map, and then we're going to discuss it. Rumors about a second map. Okay, I've, I've played that map. It's, it's freaking awesome. And I think the idea is that you guys get to maybe play it soon as well. So let's see. Okay, so as you've seen in that video, there was a little bit of flicker towards the end of it. Now, I paused the video and got a screenshot of what it was, and here it is on the screen right here. You guys seen it in the thumbnail. This is a small little glimpse into what the new map is, and he said he played it, as you've seen in the clip. He said he has fun on it and is great, and this map actually looks pretty cool, and it's showing a couple things that might be in the future. I guess you could be a, you know, a conspiracy theorist on this, but I mean, it looks great. It looks more flushed, and it looks like they're doing a little bit more emphasis on verticality which is awesome because there's different levels there that is awesome and it looks like there's a city in the background instead of just you know random little buildings here it looks like there's a small city which is going to be pretty cool and to the left you see you know cool planes on a cliff and it, it looks like it's going to have a you know more open areas that you can see even farther i guess that's good for you snipers out there just like myself and on the right, I don't know if this is going to be a thing, but you actually see a road connecting to a bridge. And I don't know if that's going to be a hint to a future of having vehicles in the game, which would be, I don't know if that would be broken or if it would be awesome, but to be able to have vehicles in the game would be really, really cool in my opinion. I don't know if they're going to do it, but it looks like it. And as far as I can remember on the old map, there was no roads on it anywhere as far as I can you know, recall in my brain. I've only played a few of the alpha tests and stuff like that, but the game is amazing. This is the new map. I cannot wait to see it come out. It's going to be in the near future. I hope you guys are hyped for this, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is every bit of the news, except for the little minor fixes. Like I said, if you want to check those out, go to the link down below. But with that being said, I'm hopping off here. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like on it. And if you're new and you haven't already, make sure you sub to the channel to not miss out on any of the new videos or tips or tricks or anything like that. We will be streaming this this weekend, so make sure you guys hop by here and say hello. With that being said, I'm out of here, guys. I love your faces, and may the dubstep penguin be with you. Peace out, guys.